Hi everyone, today's headlines. NBF demands roll back on fuel tax. Amit Shah to discuss Naga issue with stockholders in Manipur. Nagaland COVID-19 rises to 9,615. Kokomi urges NNPGs to create new foundation for Nagas. No entry zone in Koima on number 14. Ladakh dispute to be resolved soon. Pressure on Iran will persist under Biden. Mumbai Indians were disciplined, that's why we won IPL. One held in connection with extortion in Kohima. News in details. NBF demands rollback on fuel tax. A day after the ruling PDA, coalition government announced new hikes in taxes on petrol, diesel and petroleum products. The opposition NPF has condemned the decision and demanded an immediate rollback before it becomes too late to control its impact on a beleaguered and stressed society. It may be recalled that the state government on November 11 announced fresh hikes in price of petrol from 25% to 29.80% and diesel from 14.5% to 17.50%. NPF through its press bureau reminded that when the PDA government tried to extract money from public under COVID cess, it was strongly opposed with the Naga public which compelled the government to withdraw the cess on fuel. NPF said the PDA government has again come up with a new formula to suck money from the public. Amit Shah to discuss Naga issue with stockholders in Manipur Announcing Union Home Minister Amit Shah planned to visit Manipur later this month to discuss Naga political issue, the Chief Minister of Manipur N. Biran Singh Thursday reiterated that state's territorial integrity would not be sacrificed at any cost. Addressing a press conference at the Chief Minister's Secretariat here, Singh informed that the Union Minister had a plan to visit the state within the current November month. Singh said he learned that Amit Shah desired to discuss the issue with all the MLAs of the state and other stockholders during his proposed visit in the state. Nagaland COVID-19 tally rises to 9,615. Nagaland on Thursday reported 37 new COVID-19 positive cases, 26 in Kohima, 9 in Dimapur, and 1 each in Tunzang and Mon, taking the tally to 9,615. As on November 12, the total recovery stood at 8,683. According to Health Department, there were 786 active cases and 44 deaths. As per the severity of symptoms, 733 active cases were asymptomatic, 26 mild, 11 moderate on oxygen, 10 severe on oxygen, 2 critical without oxygen, and 2 on ventilator. Kokomi urges NNPGs to create new foundation for Nagas. Coordinating Committee on Manipur Integrity has urged NNPG leaders to take the opportunity of Naga Peace Talks for creating a foundation and new hope for the future generation for both Manipuris, Naga and other ethnic communities and neighboring states who all had been and would be living together forever. This was conveyed by a six-member delegation of the committee which held over three hours of consultative meet with working committee of NNPGs led by its convener N. Kitovi Zimomi and six co-conveners along with three other members of the committee here on Tuesday. No entry zone in Koima on number 14. In view of the Koima Smart City Development Limited Street for People Challenge program, Koima police have informed that the stretch from Razu Point to local ground has been designated as no entry for vehicles from 5 am to 5 pm on November 14. Koima police said that vehicles permanently parked in the designated areas are to be removed before 5 am on November 14. Ladakh dispute to be resolved soon. The border standoff between India and China in eastern Ladakh is expected to be resolved peacefully. The ITBP chief SS Deswal has said. Adding the infrastructure along the line of actual control it is also being ramped up at a rapid pace. Talking to PTI during a wide-ranging interview, the Director General of Indo-Tibetan Border Police said his troops have been provided with special winter clothing and nutritious food as they brave the severe chill in eastern Ladakh, where the armies of India and China are locked in a tense standoff for over six months. Pressure on Iran will persist under Biden. The U.S. Special Representative for Iran insisted Thursday a pressure campaign of sanctions targeting Iran would persist into the administration of Joe Biden.
even as the president-elect has pledged to potentially return America to Tehran's nuclear deal with world's power. Eliud Abrams, who also served as the U.S. Special Representative to Venezuela, said sanction targeting Iran for human rights violation, its ballistic missile program, and its regional influence would go on. Mumbai Indians were disciplined, that's why we won IPL. Roy Sharma believes one of the main reasons why Mumbai Indians won the 13th edition of the Indian Premier League was because the players showed great discipline as a team and also on the field. Due to COVID-19 pandemic, the IPL 2020 was played in a biosecure environment in the United Arab Emirates from September 19 to November 10. One held in connection with extortion in Kohima. Kohima police arrested one person on Thursday, November 12, 2020, based on specific input about extortion being carried out by cadres of NSCNK at Kezigi area Kohima. The arrested person is identified as Vezudo Vasa, 38 years. Kohima police notify. That's all for now. To yes, this latest news, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you.